in order to make it in the music business, you have to focus on the second part of that word, which is business. Our next guest is a legend in the game and has been around since the 90s and is still relevant to this day. Stick around as we give you how to thrive in the music business. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I want to help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, let's go back to the video. Pay attention and listen, we about to teach class. Inside the boat, my man adds cash. So get your man right. Thursday nights, 8 p.m. You see him change your life. Millionaire mindset, the best on earth. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. We're going to help you live in abundance spiritually, practically. We're going to help you grow your business to the next level. And when I tell you this next guest that we have is a living legend, great spirit, somebody that I'm sure he has made you smile. He is, he, he is you know, giving you life when you listen to his music. We have the one, the only, Mr. Jazzy Faye in the building. Oh, boy. What's up, my brother? Hey, man. Man. Great to be here. Yes, sir. With you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Man, you, you, you legendary to yourself. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. That means a lot, Come man. On, man. Uh, and, and, you know, as somebody who, you know, I think, I think first of all, um, you know, I appreciate you because of your spirit, right? Okay. Um, and I, and I think that a lot of times, uh, people don't, um, you know, you know, give credit to how important, uh, your character, mm. your spirit, mm -hmm. um, your aura, like how mm -hmm. important that is, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, many times, like, 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 you know, I'll be feeling a way, I'll see you, and like, right, you can't, you can't, you can't not feel good being around this man, right? <laughs> um, but for those who don't know, um, who is Jazzy Faye? Man, Jazzy Faye is, um, I'm a, I'm an artist, I'm a, I'm a producer, I'm a dad, yeah. I'm a, um, inspirational person yeah. i'm a um I, i'm i'm moody sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know um i'm that person that i kind of like pep talk i give myself a pep talk before i go amongst others because i always wanted to spread joy yeah and uh was brought up in the church by my mom you know uh also on tour with my dad mm. sometimes on tour with, with mom as well mm. uh and music a music child you know what I mean? I was around Rick James, um, the the Temptations, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Michael Jackson, everybody. Mm -hmm. I was born behind the scenes. Right, right, you know what I mean? Right. So I was there when the mothership landed. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. I had a three-piece suit on. You know what I'm saying? I was about that time. Yeah. But I mean, I was there. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. My ears are plugged half of the time, but you know, I was there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I love it. And 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 so and so, you know, you know, obviously, you know, being around it, um, you know, has gotten you into the music business. Um, you know, how have you uh, lasted so long, right? When you, you know, you, 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 you've been in the business uh, since the nineties and, you know, behind the scenes, I'm here, you, you have, you take some big calls. Oh yeah. Like I'm, I, like, I'm like, it, it's, it's stuff that ain't even out yet. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a big play. Right. And yeah. it, you know, you know, people are, uh, still reaching out to you mm -hmm. for some clearances and things of that nature. Right. Um, you know, like what, what's, what's the secret to longevity in the music business? Um, I think uh, um, the big word is is listen, mm. is to listen. Always give an ear to the youth. Yeah, you know what I mean mm. to the youth. Yeah. Um, there's really I, I don't even think there's anybody on my team besides my management that's my age or or, or better. Wow. You know what I mean. Everybody's 
everybody's all younger. Yeah. You know what I mean? They all got their computers out. They all, yeah. you know what I mean? Always ticking and tacking and tick tocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I always kept that that youth around me, people who are are always trying to learn something new, yeah. always giving new ideas and keeping the positivity in the room, mm. keeping the positivity in the room. Like if there's anything kind of productive going on in the room, I don't care what it is. Mm. Don't let it bounce off the walls at all. Just mm. get just get it out. Wow. Check yeah. all of that at the door. We're wow. going to check it all at the door. Yeah. We're going to check the egos at the door because ain't nobody ego That's bigger true. than mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If so, I'm just going to lay the resume down. Yeah. And what did y'all do? Yeah, yeah, right. What did y'all do? If, right. if we want to get to that. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I never go, I'm, I've never told a person, do you know who I am? Yeah, yeah. You know, or something like that. Yeah. Until they push me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because don't push me because I'm close to the, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just, it's just whenever you need to, yeah. then you got to. You know, you pull out the platinum card, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or the black card or whatever. Right. right. You know, um, and, and that's just it, man. I just just stay around the positivity. The yeah. positivity is the key. Yeah. That's the key, man. I grew up in, in the church, like I said, um, sang in a choir, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. was active. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the first people that took me uh, um, serious and and like uh, uh, in, a, in almost like the business realm was Fred Hammond. Fred mm -hmm. Hammond, me and my brother was was like, you know, uh, gospel rappers. Wow. We were actually the first gospel rappers. We never came out with an album wow. because I ended up doing something different later. But Fred Hammond wanted to take us and he actually took us to L.A. because mm -hmm. he saw us at church mm -hmm. performing. And when we went to L.A., um, uh, Tim Reed, mm -hmm. who was on WKRP in Cincinnati a long time ago, wanted to sign us. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that led to other things. And then, you know. How how, how, would, how would your life be different if you were a, a gospel rapper? Hmm. I, we'll never know. Right. <laughs> right. 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 We'll never right. know. Right. 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 But just, I still. Yeah. But, but, but I got some. I, I got some. Mm, okay. I got some. Yeah. Yeah, I got. If if you go through my page, yeah, y'all go through the Jazz Bay page, you might find some of the things I'm speaking of, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm going to they're gonna they're gonna reemerge. Yeah, yeah, because because that's one of the things, like you know, like you said that that positivity. Yeah, uh, it's obvious that that you know you have a relationship with God, right? Oh yeah, and, you know it's, it's like obvious, and, oh, yeah. and and to that point, like I said, like your your energy is always is always there, right? Yeah. And um, that positivity, that level of uh, connectivity, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, is uh, you living your God self, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, and you said something earlier about um, you know, you know, you know, you know, staying close to the youth, and you know, just mm -hmm. kind of having you know young people on your team. Mm -hmm. uh, what what's your thoughts on? Uh, uh, the music, the you know, the new music space, like right now, today's music scene. Um, the music scene is 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 it's got a like like a five six part harmony going on right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's it's um, and and it might some some parts maybe not be so harmonious, if mm -hmm. you will. Yeah. But um, I, I think you know we have the newest. I think maybe like drill music. Mm -hmm. So let's go right to the cut to yeah. the cut to the chase and get all the way down to the dirt. Yeah, yeah you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you're talking about <clears throat> stuff like drill music, yeah. I said the music is dope, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's the mindset mm -hmm. and the story behind the music. Yeah. It being like, okay, these are true stories about real murders that happened over here and over here, yeah. and these are real people who did this, and then this dude said mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. Thus how they're trying to play Young Thug right. and how they, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. trying right. to play these kids now, trying mm -hmm. to, get, I mean, but but what's the difference between them and Denzel on training day? Right, right. So is it not entertainment? Right, yeah. I mean, you might have some other things on him, but mm -hmm. I don't agree on you being able to use that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because yeah. we just entertain it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a dangerous game all the way around because... Oh, if you brandish your weapon, okay. Now, when you touch down in Little Rock, the only way a little kid in Little Rock feel like he can rock with you or get some attention from you is he pull out his weapon. Mm -hmm. Look, I got mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yours. You lack it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So right. now it becomes a crazy game. Right, right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So that's the part 
I ain't with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we came from LL Cool J yep. and Ice T and them battling, yep. and it was just a battle. It was all good. Yeah, it was just a battle. Now yeah. it's like, okay, when I see you, I'm 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 letting off at your truck, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Come on, bro. So 100%. so that's the part of that's the part of music that I choose not to take part in. I don't yeah. sign it. Yeah. I don't. You know, I don't push it. I don't. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. And and I don't. And I don't agree with it because yeah. it's taking lives. Mm. It's taking lives, and we trying to. We here to give life. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We just need to live this this thing. You know, the the youth they really need. They really need us. Yeah. What I'm saying. They need yeah. us. Yeah. And I saw Soldier Boy. Talking about how the OGs, yeah, not pointing back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nigga, you an OG now, right? Exactly, absolutely. Yeah, you an OG now. Yeah. We, you you did you in right. twenty what fifteen years ago. And, and matter of fact, there's a drill song that sampled his his choice exactly. <laughs> and so he what, should be. And so just so dope, and yeah, he's yeah. so he he's so creative I with agree. the marketing. Yeah, it, it's like, and, and he's a friend of mine. So mm-hmm. me and Soldier gonna talk. Yeah, yeah. What I'm you saying. know what I mean? Me and yeah. Soldier gonna talk as soon as I catch up with him. We gonna we yeah. gonna chop it up and and, and try to do something yeah. something positive. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? And he don't even know, but he's the leader. Absolutely. He's the, he's the leader. He, he and and I think. He might know that because I hopefully somebody told him, like, yeah. oh, bro, you were one of the leaders. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And, and, and to, to be honest, um, I would say he's the leader when you think about. That's what I said. That's the, what I said. The, the that, was my initial, and, and, that was my initial word. Right. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, like, the truth of the matter is that, like, the way music is now, where the young people don't even really need record labels. Started with that man, right? But one thing you got to do is you yeah. got to step down from one mm. to step up to the other. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, because yeah, you yeah. can't you can't represent two sides. Got it? Yeah. You can't rep. You can't you can't represent negativity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, yeah. only light can drive out darkness. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So 100%. You, you gotta you got you know you gotta live in the light. You gotta walk in the light. Yeah, yeah. Now one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I love that. And so t- t- talk talk to us a little bit about. Uh, because you you are uh, not only an artist, you're a producer, uh, uh-huh. you're a record executive, right? Show enough, you know. And um, you know, you you have the digital side of it. Uh-huh. Um, a lot of people may not know, um, but Sierra was uh-huh. your you know your first artist, yep. and like 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 talk talk about. Uh, talk about that, right? Like, how okay. did you discover her? How did you sign her? Like, what was that story? Oh, well, young young guy named T.A., he, he brought me uh, uh, Sierra. Mm-hmm. He brought actually um, a group. It was a group called um, Hearsay. Mm-hmm. Hearsay was three girl group. And he was like, I want you to, you know, tell me what you think about her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, she's the one. Yeah. She's the one. But yeah. um, there, there was obviously, there was, there was a, a um, the girl that was, supposed to be the lead, yeah. her dad was like the manager. So he was supposed to be like Matthew knows, right, whatever. Right, right, she supposed right. to be the Beyonce or whatever. Right. So, you know, they're trying to get me to like, you know what I mean? Whatever. But he was like, yo, I'm going to bring her by. You know, I was working at DARP at Dallas Austin Studio at the time. Mm-hmm. Brought her over. She kicked with me for like three days. She was like 17 years old. And she had a lot of more meat on her body, you know what I'm saying, right. back then. Right. And she was kind of thick, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So Sissy being 17, like, you're just too young to be up in here with all of us. Right. Like, you know, and then every time the music would come on, she dropping low. You know, she had these low rider pants on. I'm like, you know, like a grandmother, you want to put a shawl on her? Right. Like, hey, man, wait a minute. Right. Working on twerking all of that. Right. I'm like, man. She had this thing, man, was so captivating. When she danced, everybody was like, hey, whoa, yeah. wait a minute. I'm like, no, y'all can't look at her like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So we finally got in, and and the first day we got in was me, John Tay, and I think uh, one of my boys said we got in there and made a record. I think the first record we made was Thug Style. Mm. You changed the game. I like your Thug Style. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, that was the record that got her deal. Mm, okay. First record we re- re- recorded. Yeah, yeah. And man, it was just kind of like a musical love affair from there. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? It's something that that about the tone of her voice, yeah. and you know what I mean, her love for for Michael and Janet, yeah. and and even Chris Brown and all of those guys. That I was like, yeah, this is me right here. Yeah, because yeah. I always, you know, work with all of those guys. Yeah. And then, but I really wanted my own thing. I was like your own thing yeah, yeah. and that's it yeah. this is it yeah, yeah. you know and 
you know, took her to Divine, took her to Divine Stevens yeah. and to uh, Tamika Foster yeah. for the for that, you know, for that thing. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, right. And just to sharpen her up, getting yeah. her vocal training, yeah. media training, everything yeah. and just made her, you know, who she is. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And of course, she just had that drive. Right. You know saying. what I mean? And she's she just super. Yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm Ask Cash, the financial motivator, Marvin Mitchell, Mr. Become Your Own Bank, and Storm Leroy, the employed millionaire. If you missed our last Half the Prosperity Challenge, I need you to tap in because we're going to help you make, manage, and multiply money. Talk to Marvin. Hey, look, this is your opportunity. Last time we had over 800 people, minds were shifted, generational wealth was being created, and you know what? People are still going to higher levels each and every day. Now, it's time to take action. That means no opportunity wasted. So if you missed last one, take action on this one now. So what we need you to do, click that link below. We'll see you on the inside. Don't miss out. Always seek knowledge. Have to prosperity. Let's go. And, and how, how does that feel, right? Because, like, to have... Um, you know, to be part of that history, like to be part and not just her, like you, like you've helped launch a lot of careers, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it was directly, indirectly, mm -hmm. um, produce some mm -hmm. major hits for yeah, people yeah. who have like, like, like you have made a lot of like big stars. Like, how does that feel to, uh, to know, uh, that the impact that you've had, uh, from a music perspective, I mean, lives forever, honestly, you know, Man, like, it's, that, it's, it's me... like, um, it, it, Coming from a musical background and coming from being around superstars all the time, yeah. like I, I, I ain't grow up poor. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I went to school in the limousine. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> right. So my daddy was a rock star. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I can't. But my, my, but my grandmother lived in the hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She didn't want to move out the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She had a nice house. Yeah. In the hood, but it was like, and today it's my dad's name on the street, like mm -hmm. as of. Three weeks ago, wow. they just named oh, my grandmother's street after my dad. Wow. Yeah, that was big. That yes, was real big. big. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, that's where, you know, like, and uh, I partially grew up in Memphis, mm -hmm. I, you know, mostly in California. Yeah. You know, but then I came back to Memphis. Yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah, that was kind of cold blood. Yeah, yeah. And so how, how do you, you know, you know, knowing that there's a lot of stories of uh, people who've been in the music business mm -hmm. Um, who are, you know, not doing well, you know, like have, have not uh, done well with their money, have not mm -hmm. uh, been able to, you know, keep up, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we had, you know, tragic stories of yeah. uh, people who are, you know, sick or pass away and, yeah. and have to, you know, legends who have yeah. to work regular jobs and things of that right, nature. Right. How do you, um, you know, maintain uh, you know, your level of wealth and, 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 you know, make sure that, that you're, uh, investing in yourself, you know, from a monetary perspective. So that way, you know, you, you could always sort of like live in abundance. You got to do the business on the front end. Mm. You've got to have an attorney for mm. everything that you're doing. Yeah. Even if you're just introducing two people, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and if you have, and, and, and like, once you really start getting the ball rolling, yeah. sometimes you got attorneys, you know, you get to a level and your attorney is high powered mm -hmm. because like we really kind of made our attorney so high powered because I got Jonathan Leonard, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So he starts, you know, working with people like John Tay yeah. and he's got Tip yeah. and he's got, you know, uh, uh, all of these people and he got a couple of athletes. Yeah. So as we're growing, he's growing. Right, right, right. So sometimes he, we can't get him on the phone. Yeah. So I might have to call another guy mm -hmm. to get a deal done mm -hmm. because A, B, and C mm -hmm. is trying to sign this kid mm -hmm. from Newark, New Jersey right, right now. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I might have to call this person or, or to make an introduction, whatever. You got to have other people on point. Yeah. And the business got to be in line. Yeah, yeah. you got to be able to. You got to be able to move like a cat. You got to be be nimble in this thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I and I and I love that because um, you know you said uh, you have to do the business on the front end, right? Yeah. Uh, and I like that you said that because um, we hear so many stories um, of people. I guess being in desperate situations or uh, mm -hmm. believing that's a uh, big one. Yeah, that they have to like like I'm gonna get it by any yeah. means. Yeah. So they just sign whatever yeah. and they just yeah. re ready to go. Yeah. And then you know you know the their 
music goes to the next level, uh, millions of dollars are being made, and they don't see. And that's none where of that. that's where the bitterness. That's where the bitterness is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Where where you see a lot of people have these real bitter relationships, right? Because they know they didn't do, they didn't take the proper time, yeah. or, or go through the proper channels, or or even get the proper representation, yeah. to go and do such a deal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You yeah. got to have somebody who knows about, you know, uh, uh, structure yep. and publishing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because when you're doing publishing, there's a thing called. Uh, um, there's a thing called uh, um, a full reversion mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or a partial mm -hmm. reversion. Like that means like 10 years down the line, you borrow my publishing, mm -hmm. but I get it back. Mm, yeah, yeah. A full yeah. reversion, I get my publishing back after a certain amount of time. Yeah. So once you get back, now you hear about all these people selling their publishing. Right, right, absolutely. So by the time I get to mm. three decades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we won't talk about that. But once we get to that point, yeah. Um, I have it all back. Mm. So now I have that bargaining chip. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people aren't doing that. A lot of people mm. are, you know, like, and even in death row. Because right. it, it, it's already out there. They, yeah. People know that a lot of that publishing was sold. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was gone. And, yeah. and so that's why you see a lot of those artists, like, how come they, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because like, we were like, well, like, a Lil Wayne sold, you know, hundred million. Justin Timberlake just for hundred million. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Because I mean, you know, a lot of people like like they put a lot of trust in people. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Because they were taking care of everything. They yeah. were just, you know, man, you know, you make sure I eat, you make yeah. sure I'm staying over here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But they didn't. They they didn't think about the big money. Mm. They thought about the money. They didn't think about the money. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The long right. money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and those guys would think about the money because they had other people behind the mm. scenes yeah. saying, don't worry about that. Mm. Give them a million dollars. Yeah. Give them a million dollars. Yeah. Take 50% of the publisher. Mm. Because when you make 30 million. Right. Then that. You wow. got fit. You and, got 15. And you're going to take management off the top. Mm. So you're going to get the back end publishing yeah. and the money that's coming in. I'm taking that too. Mm. Yeah. So you, you double dipping. Wow. So, so, so how, like, but you signed the paperwork though. Right. Cause, that, cause so you gave me say, permission. Exactly. Right. Like, like, like that's what I was going to say. Like, like, how do you, you know, you know, how do you help, um, you know, upcoming artists or new people, um, avoid those pit, you know, you know, those traps, if you will. Right. Because, that's the thing, right? When you think about these deals, it's not no one put a gun to your head. Right. Like you, like you, it look, it's your signature. You sign this thing. Let me tell you something, Ash. Us as a people, like we get quiet. Mm. It's it's a big secret about about the money mm. and about the deal. Don't don't know nobody wants to know. We want this big reveal. Mm. And we want to be able to show up with the bowl and the Cadillac and mm. or whatever it is, and the deal's done. Mm. And then you're looking at the homeboy like. Negro, you signed a deal? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wh where's the paperwork? Mm. What does it look like? Yeah. Like, what, what, what? Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody who did the right thing, right? Dream. Mm. Right? Yeah. My brother. Yeah. He came, he came to me and he had, he had a song and Vito was there. Don Vito was around. So, so he played a song for me, right? Everybody knows the song. He said, Shout it rock to the beat for your boy. Mm -hmm. And it said, it didn't, now it says, Shout it, do it. Back then it said, Comic music. Ooh. No shouts to Akon. Yeah. I'm nothing like that. Yeah. But Akon, everybody knows mm -hmm. Akon was in a bad deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it might get a little controversial, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? So we need that sometimes mm -hmm. because we have to learn from that. Yeah. I was like, Bro. Why is you saying that on this song? Mm. I said, wait a minute. I said, we need to make some phone calls. Yeah. Because we need to have you a deal where you're making your money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he signed to a deal that's signed to another deal. It's, so where, where's your money going to right. come from? Right, right, right. So we got him to L.A. Reed. Mm. Now he's with Jigga. Wow. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Say I ain't never talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, see, you know you get documentary type stuff. So, so we ain't gonna we ain't gonna talk much about it. <laughs> right, right. We ain't right. gonna talk too much. about Right, it. right. And but you know, like that's what's necessary. Um, and 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 I and I want to kind of go back, um, to something that you said, 
uh, sp- like you said, specifically in our community, where a lot of people aren't even um, because you know we're not used to getting money, right? Um, we have this. I don't want to say lack mentality, but we have this mentality where uh, we are fearful that if we tell too many people about our business or whatever, they're mm-hmm. going to try to take advantage of us. Right. So, it, I mean, I mean, and so that fear makes us do things in secret. And the thing that we fear happens anyway because we didn't right. say nothing. Or you think somebody or somebody thinks that, that, that somehow they're going to hate it away. Right, right, right. Because of the past. Right. You know, somebody yeah. like, you know, you hating because, okay, that's why I didn't get it because yeah. you was hating. Yeah. Or somebody blocked it or, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They just ball a block. It. Yeah. So how do how do we create like a, I don't know, like a council or something, like a like a guidebook or something that young people could, you know, you know, reference so that before they make a deal, these are the things that you, you know what I'm saying? Just like this. Yeah. Just like we're doing right now. Yeah. Just like we're doing right now. Yeah. Like minded individuals. Boom. You mark Jazzy in. Mm. You mark Ash in. Yeah. See, and once once the names start making sense, right, the ears open up. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So and and so many times, and so many people that want to join in. Yeah. Dallas will be a part of it, mm-hmm. no doubt. Divine will be a part of mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Akon will be a part of mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? All of these guys will be a part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you, so we've got to just take the step. Yeah. Let's take a step. Yeah, I'm yeah, here right now. Let's take a step. One percent. Let, let's do it. Yeah, one percent. Let's do it because yeah. there's there's so much to be gained, and there's so much more music to be made. Yeah, and so much much music to be done. Yeah, and even with the streaming now, of one percent, change the game. There's some secrets that we still have mm-hmm. yet to learn. Yeah, I'm learning. Yeah, but it's some it's some other money back there. Right, because they wouldn't be because because I keep getting these different offers. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. So and so offered me this, and yeah. you tripled that. Right, right. Why do you Why? want my publishing Absolutely. so bad? Absolutely. What are y'all doing with this publishing? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even, even, even. I mean, to be honest, even like when you think about Spotify uh, and how they get paid and the percentage of that that goes to the actual artists, like, like you ain't create the music, no. and then. The, the, you know, they're distributing the music, but because of the distribution, you get the, you know what I mean? You get the most collectively. The there's, share, yeah, yeah. There's, de- there's definitely things there. And even from a perspective of how music is being created, because I remember, um, you know, one of the young guys who, you know, put out put out a song, found a beat online. Uh, the song did well. Um, you know, didn't really own the song. Ugh. 50 million views. Ugh. And then all of a sudden, the some some you know some Indian person from you know who did the original song gets the lion's share of the of the money. You got the fame. You probably got a chain, but you don't have. You didn't get the clearance. You didn't get the clearance. Yeah. You didn't yeah. get the clearance, and, and you didn't get the that. publishing, and you didn't do the paperwork. Yeah. Up front. Yeah. 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 That's no, necessary. And so you know, out of all of the um, you know songs that you produce, like. What would you do? Do you have a favorite? What's the what's your what's your what's your favorite? Man, yeah, and, and, and drop 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 some of those some of those hits for us. Like give give, um, give me, run run your resume. Some run some stuff for us. Aaliyah, I don't wanna. Mm. Aaliyah, um, uh, come over. Mm. Um, uh, Mary J. Blige, just fine. Mm. Um, Slick Rick, Street Talking, mm. Outcast. Mm. Uh, in the wind with Trick Daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, bang, uh, Jeezy, mm-hmm. Young Jeezy, uh, Ti, uh, 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 let's get away, Ti, um, uh, let's get get loose, mm-hmm. uh, Nelly, um, Biggie, mm-hmm. uh, um, Nasty Girl remix yep. with the Jagged Edge and Nelly and all of them. Uh, uh, pretty lady gonna do that dance. Uh, what? Uh, 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 Lil Wayne, uh, Earthquake. Uh, man, there's so many, man. Yeah. yeah. Tony Braxton. Yeah. Babyface. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah. it goes Legend. on and on. Biggie, Tupac. Yeah. Everybody, man. Yeah. It's, just, it's a lot of people. Two yeah. Chains, uh, Rick Ross, uh, Fantasia, Ruben Studdard, Jagged Edge. Keith Sweat, Gerald Levert, mm. Johnny Gill, mm. um, man, yeah. Ice Cube, yeah. Yeah. Snoop Dogg, yeah. 
you know, yeah. E- E42 short. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we talk 120 million so. Mm. 120 plus, million. Over over 120 wow. million. Wow. I, I, and I said that two years ago. So. Wow. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, also on the new, uh, uh, like, Ayo and Tayo, mm-hmm. uh, Rolly Rolly, that's mm-hmm. five million. Oh, that, oh, that's five still, million sold yeah. itself. Yeah. Outcast, of course, you know, yeah. I, I was on the only one that sold 10 million, well, 15 million now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Speaker yeah. Box, Love Below. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm on both of those. Mm. Um, uh, man, it's just a lot. Yeah, yeah. CeeLo, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and when you, when, you, when, you, when you think of your career and all of that you've done, mm-hmm. um, is there anything that you would have done differently? No. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would have, I would have leveraged my catalog mm. early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I don't really have regrets because uh, I had I had good business people behind the scenes, yeah. even when I didn't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I trust people whose business was right. Yeah. And my business acumen had to catch up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I had to learn from from tripping and falling and, you know what I mean, and blowing my money because mm. I was bad on the tax end. Mm. I was on TV. But, wow. But luckily, I wasn't big enough fish to fry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And I, I think I might have came on at 11 o'clock at night or something <laughs> like that. And then the dude that was on the news standing in front of my house, I was like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Right. Because of something that me and a couple other of my constituents yeah. had uh, not paid a, a studio bill. Yeah, yeah, that, You remember that? When they, <laughs> they were talking about a studio bill yeah. in, in, in Atlanta, and then these all of these studio owners that got together and was, like, talking about me, and I think it was... I, I ain't going to say no names. Right, right. You know, they ain't throwing nobody under the bus. Right. But, it was, but they was the ones not paying. Right. I owe, like, $1,000. Right. Everybody got a studio bill. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, shoot, you ain't even making records if you ain't got a studio for you. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? And they put me under the bus, bro, and I wasn't even the main guy, but I was the guy that they could find. Mm, You know what I'm saying? So they put me on the TV. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. So it made me look like I was broke. Mm, Yeah. But but you know what? I loved it Mm. because it made a lot of people get away. Wow. Mm. That's That's what I loved about the rumors. Yeah. The rumors just made everybody just subside. And I'm yeah. like, oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so beautiful here. Yeah, when the grass is cut. Yeah, I show. love, because I love peace and quiet. Yeah. I hate when, when people just be hanging around just to be hanging around. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can yeah. down to it now. Mm. Yeah. And people, and then I notice more upper echelon people start wanting to hang out mm. longer. Yeah. Because you ain't got no extra people mm. around. Yeah, it's yeah. like, dang, Jazzy didn't have nobody around. Right. And then the next day, Bruno Mars might come through. Right. He got all his people there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jazz ain't got it like that. He ain't mm. got all them people around. Mm. People calling them like, you, you got Bruno Mars over there? Yeah, 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 but you can't come. You're right. You can't come. <laughs> right, right. We, we handling business right now. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so as a as an OG in the game, um, you know, where do you see, it's a two-part question, right? Where do you see music going? Mm-hmm. And then where do you see the music business going? Music it's it's all coming back. Mm. So I was just talking to my brother, Metro Boomin. Yeah. I think I was talking about it earlier. And he texted me and he said something important. He said, big bro, let's get together this week mm. and bring back real songs mm. and real music. Mm. Now, it wasn't just the fact that my brother called me and talked about real music and real songs. It was Metro Boomin. Right, right, right. He's the most important artist in BMI. Right. Yeah. He's the most important producer mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. as far as currently. Yeah. He gets the most awards. He could just sit on the stage. He gets yeah. that many awards for the last uh, three or four. I don't know if you've been to BMI Awards. Mm-hmm. He gets probably 10 or 12 awards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that speaks so many volumes. Yeah. To me, because him being in that space, especially him working over there with the weekend and all of those guys, mm-hmm. he's seeing now. Right. Like these guys are getting the big, like you they getting the movies, mm-hmm. they're getting in Batman, yeah, and they getting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I think they doing like five, I think weekend is like doing five songs on the next Batman. Like, bro, that's cold. That's crazy. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think Metro like producing some of that mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so like that's crazy, mm-hmm, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know that's that, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, so in that vein, 
you like what direction do you see the music business going into? Um, I see the music business going even like more digital. Mm. Even more digital, just like you know, with the NFT space. Yeah. With the uh, I don't know, I don't know how long or or how that's going to evolve, mm -hmm. but I know that one and one is still two. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. If the music is hot, people gonna get to the music. Right. People gonna TikTok the music. Right. They're gonna always be a new platform. Shout right. out to Isaac Hayes with fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We gotta big up our guy. You know what I'm saying? Because we actually know him. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've got to get behind our people. And I gotta even do better. I look up there, man. Hey man, we gotta we gotta do something. Right. I'm gonna go go by there just because I'm thinking about it now. Yeah. And 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 help out our guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We gotta stand behind our guys and make sure they win. Yeah. Don't be worried about how much money he's gonna make. Right. Because as long as as long as he's huge and you can get him on the line. Absolutely. You yeah. know. Can't nobody take nothing from you on the platform. Right, 100%. Yeah. So why not go in there and make money? Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I think that that now it's it's getting to it's getting to uh our people mm -hmm. getting our own uh um our own distribution. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like shout out to Dallas. Yep. Yep. Dallas yep. Austin got his his thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so and we are also getting our we got our thing going too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Show enough mm -hmm. digital yeah. is also going into the distribution mm -hmm. lane. Yeah, yeah. So and it, it's gonna be it's really gonna be dope. Yeah. And yeah. it's gonna have a different a different movement to it. Yeah. I, I can't really speak on it right now. Okay, because that was gonna be my next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's coming. Okay, okay. It's coming. Yeah. So so that's why I named it Showing Up Digital Media, and I did that five years ago. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I cause I cause I knew where right. the future was going. Yeah. And 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 that's you know, and and and, and that's that's why I was gonna ask you know around that, um, because for the most part, um nothing moves without us. Nothing. Nothing. And the sad part when you think about sports, when mm -hmm. you think about entertainment, when mm -hmm. you think about music, mm -hmm. um, the majority of the people creating, um, you know, you know, the, the athletes majority are, are, are black. Yeah. Musicians who make the best music are black. Even when other people um, create music, they are borrowing from our culture. Um, and so nothing moves without the, us but we're still workers. Right. Majority, right? Majority of us still work, uh, you know, for people. And so, you know, distribution is that one way, but like, how do we finally get to a space where uh, we can just control more of what we create? Well, I think it's, it's all about, it's all about getting to uh, next to the man. Mm. It's all about the man next to the man. Yeah. And I think one of the people, uh, uh, some of the people are, that are doing it is is like uh, Jay Z, mm -hmm. like um, what's his what's his name? Um, Jay Z's partner. What's the guy's name? Which one? Uh, not Biggs. Uh uh. Steve Stout. Stout. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Steve Stout. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, Steve, Stout. Yep, yep, Steve yep, yep. Stout. Yeah. Steve um, Stout. Uh, guys like that. Yeah. Are are getting next to mm. the men. The, yeah. the next next to the guys. Yeah. That they those are those are the guys that are really getting up next to where where it's at. Yeah. Those are the guys we need to be having the conversations with. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And 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 as we, you know, and, and I mean, I I would say that I do see um, um, it shifting, right? Like a lot of us are um, now awakening, and this is just across the board, not just music. Um, you know, when we think about even you know podcasts, when you think about you know content, like mm -hmm. you know, I've been an author for twelve years. I own all of my books. When you think about podcasts and we owning media, when you think about music, when you think about movies, like all of the things that we're now owning, um, and then now you know, instead of uh, you know us selling our stuff to people, we're licensing it. We're saying you could use it. But you can't use it forever. You're gonna use no, it for a certain no, amount of time no. and give me mine back, right? What's your thoughts about people selling publishing, right? Like people having this this ownership of their thing, and and someone's coming to them with with a big check and saying, "Hey, give me, let me own, you know, you know, what you got." 
I think it's about doing the numbers. Yeah. I think it's about doing the numbers. And and um if you're going if you're going to sell it, yeah. If you're going to sell it, make it make sense in the long run. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if I if I pay you double to crash and burn, mm-hmm. then maybe you should just let it let it stay. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And see what can happen. Right. Because publishing doesn't necessarily stay the same. Right. You know what I mean? Something can happen, just like with Don Vito, he, he got he got a record that just went crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So the dynamic changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got so many records, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that are being picked up. Yeah. Aaliyah, um, Field Mob, yeah. Sierra, yeah. Uh, even Cherish, mm-hmm. that they're all spiking now. Right, right. So if I would have sold my publishing last year, yeah. it would have been a different... Mm-hmm. It would have been a different evaluation this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I would have sold it last year, it would have been less. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it almost would be double yeah. if we have this kind of action next year. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. So if you don't really need it, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Hold off. Or you can do partial. Mm, okay. You can do partial. Yeah. You know, it's all about if you need the money, though. Right, right, right. If you need yeah. the money and then go, and if you do get the money, just make an investment. Yeah, yeah. Make a smart investment. Do some real estate. Yeah. Yeah, nah, one hundred percent. And so, so what, what's 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 next for Jazzy Fair? Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment, live entertainment, mm, entertainment. I can see that. Yeah, live I can entertainment see that. and yeah. and um and some TV too. Yeah, one hundred percent. Some TV. You have to be on TV. Yeah, you I'm need talking. To be on television. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to some people. Yeah, and uh uh, I don't know what happened. Where where I don't know if it's Drewski because he's a big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to figure it out. Like yeah. why all these people calling me about TV all of right, a sudden? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. You know, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun, that. though. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's going to be lit. Um, When I when I go and meet and, and talk to people, they be excited. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, I just turn it up on them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because cause, cause energy does a lot, you know what I'm nah. saying? And I, and I think that um, it's time to... Um, you know, spread love, right? Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. like, have that energy. You know what I'm saying? And when it's genuine, yeah, you know that when the Fresh Prince shows up on that camera, yeah, he's gonna give you something, yeah, that you didn't ask for. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna give you when Jazzy Faye shows up on that camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with the sprinkles. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but. Right. Depending on what I might be sipping or how I might be feeling, I might have just cast a check. Right. And, and don't tell right. how I'm gonna hit that Ooh, camera. Yeah, yeah. And don't tell them what I'm gonna go put on. What yes, I'm a, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I might be excited about how I spent. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm just feeling myself today. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So ain't no telling what you're gonna get. Yeah. But yeah. I promise you, it's gonna be a bouquet. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Of whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. All right, finish this for me. Uh, when it's all said and done, I will be. When it's all said and done, I will be remembered. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want everyone who crosses my path to know. Um, I want everybody in my path, who crosses my path, to know that I was a lover of God, Mm. a lover of people, Mm. a lover of family, and real to everybody who was real to me. Mm. I love that. I love that. All right. And so... What has been so far? What has been the most extravagant thing you've done with money? <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> um, what's the most extravagant thing I've done with money? Probably, I'd probably taken my friends on like like a like a trip. We just just getting on. Just we went from state to state, and. Every state we went to, like, okay, we went to, first we started in Atlanta mm. and hit, like, got in the Sprinter and, like, hit every strip club, mm. right? <laughs> then went to Miami. Yeah. Because, you know, they got, you know, yeah. hit every strip club. Went right. to Houston. I mean, I think we spent, I mean, just threw away just, I ain't going to talk about it. Wow. That was back in the BMF days when, right. you know, when everybody thought they was BMF. Right. Like, right. you seen the sign that said, the world is BMF. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, that right. money was just, yeah, you know I mean, right. like, you was making money like me. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, and you got a whole entourage with you, dog. Yeah. 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 And, oh, that yeah. was stupid. Yeah. But it was fun. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. Yeah. Uh, what would you say uh, is the most impactful thing you've done with money? Uh, I think the most impactful thing I've done with money is um, 
put it into my family. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Because, the, you know, um, and spread it amongst my family. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Love that. Love that. And so now, you know, Jazzy Faye, legend, living legend in the game, been around since the 90s. Um, if you could go back uh, to your 18 year old self, what advice is Jazzy Faye today telling 18 year old Jazzy Faye? Um, take take it slower. Uh. Um, keep that keep that enthusiasm, even though they don't tell the truth all the time. Uh. I mean, the game the game is so full of full of deceit, uh. so 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 many lies. Yeah. And for me to be, you know. Um, who I am, yeah, and 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 what I am, um, it it takes a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see it that. It takes a lot. It's a it's a it's a it's a this game is an obstacle course. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody ain't gonna make it. Yeah. Everybody can't go in the studio mm. and make a record for yeah. Playboy Cardi, mm. and then turn around and make a record for Keith Sweat. Mm. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm lit like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? From I, I was I, I was around Cash Money mm-hmm. when he did I did a fifty song deal with them. Wow! I'm sitting up there giving Lil Wayne cadences because mm-hmm. he in the funk because mm-hmm. maybe he smoked the wrong kind of weed that day or something. I don't know. Right, right, but right. he just end up you know just yeah. he's a he's a mind you know a uh, uh, machine. Yeah, yeah. So he be like, Fizz, I just yeah you know, I ain't feeling it today. <laughs> right. You know like, whatever. Man, I'm like, yo, Wayne, flick. <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> and it just turns. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I think I would just tell myself to just to, to be more aggressive. Yeah. 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 Be more aggressive. Because I think mm. I held back mm. a lot. Yeah. When in rooms where if I would have spoke up, mm. like I think the first time I was around, the main time I was around Dr. Dre, I was so in awe of yeah. Dre. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've been around him several times, but I've never been around him like the way I was around him this one time. Yeah. I, I felt like, you know, I could have offered him more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I I was such a I was such a like a student mm-hmm. that I didn't realize that he was trying to mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. but I ended up like making a such a great relationship with Snoop mm-hmm. and and um in turn now we getting back, you know what I mean, to where we supposed to be. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it's dope. Nah, 100%. All right, y'all. So we're going to do a lightning round. And so what we okay. do, like we're literally inside a vault. We're in the vault. We're in the vault. Um, And so our lightning round, we take bank terms and we flip them, right? Right. Um, and so, you know, term number one okay. uh, is deposit slip, right? right. Uh, deposit slip, you know, you go in the bank, you, you fill it out, you put the money in the bank, right? But for us inside the vault, deposit slip is a money mistake or slip up, right? Mm. What is the biggest deposit slip that Jazzy Faye has made? Mm, a slip up. Yeah, biggest biggest money mistake. Ooh. Um, probably um, put my money into people who couldn't make a return on my investment. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, that that would be yeah. And, and 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 when you say put it like investing in people thinking that they that you they're... I mean yeah I mean just basically putting my money into people who say they can do something mm, got it and they never returned it and, yeah you know that that wouldn't you know and I mean what you want to do I mean what you want to beat them down I mean yeah 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 you know you just gotta charge make, to make a better yeah charge to the game yes, and make sir. a better investment yeah. yes sir yes sir term number two is uh, charge off right. Um, I mean, we just talk charges to the game, but charge off for us, you, you know, you put money in a, or you borrow money from the bank uh, for whatever reasons, you know, you don't pay the bank back. The bank is going to try to get the money from you, but eventually they're going to be like, yo, we charging this off. Uh, but for us inside the vault, charge off uh, is what type of people or mindsets did you have to charge off during your journey? Mm. Mindset that I have to charge off. Totally get rid of it. You're like, you know what? In order for me to get this next level, I have to charge this off. This, this. Hey, man, just just the, like, the the, the bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? The, and all, like, like, 
you know, feel like I got to have a have a smoke before I do this mm-hmm. or or drink before I do that. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things I just had to. And I and I noticed like in, in like when I curved those things, mm-hmm. I got way more done. Mm. I got way more done. Yeah. And I mean, I think I, I, I smoke so much and I drink so much that I can already condition my mind to feel as if I was drunk. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, then I found out that I really didn't need it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You yeah. know, sometimes it's cool to socialize, you know, yeah. to kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I ain't want to depend on it. Though. Yeah. And so that, that so that's dope, right? Like, so charging off mindset. Are there any uh, people that you had, you, you know, you had to charge off? Man, um, yeah, I did have to charge off a lot of people. I mean, because, man, I used to walk in the club with 30 people. Yeah. About 30 people and, and and anytime we we get in that in that VIP yeah. and you know when that bill came <laughs> you know yeah everybody everybody, exactly. everybody whistling the damn song yeah, yeah. like <laughs> you know turn around talking to somebody yeah. I mean so I had to really I had to you know uh uh do some real soul searching yeah and and see who was really down with with jazzy mm. and I was like man now when I travel, it's like three of us. Mm. And everybody is contributing to the bill. Right. They breaking their neck. No, I got it. I got it. Right. I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's the kind of friendship I need. Not 100%. 100%. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, ATM. Uh, uh, you know, for, I mean, automated teller machine. You put your card in. Uh, you get some money out. Um, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed this interview. I think this is uh, really good. Um, and, I, and I definitely believe that, you know, anybody in the music business, anybody that's a creator, mm-hmm. uh, you know, also needs to understand a lot of the gems that you dropped here. Uh, for us in, inside the vault, ATM stands for another teachable moment, right? Mm. You are a man of of wisdom. Uh, mm. You know, I've, I've been connected to you for years and you've always dropped some major bars Look into this camera right here. Please give us another teachable moment. Something that our insiders are going to go. Like, I want you to change somebody's life. <laughs> Tonight. Are you giving me a whole lot? I want, you to change, I want you to change somebody's life. Uh, look into the camera. Give us another teachable Ooh. moment. <laughs> okay. Um, you just got to remember, you know, that your destiny isn't attached to anybody who left. Mm. Anybody who walked away, if somebody wants to walk out of your life, let them leave. Let them walk. Um, Sometimes you have to take 10 steps back to take 20 steps forward. Mm. And then when you take one step, God is going to take two steps Mm. or maybe five steps. Mm. And that next door that you're about to go through and those next people that you're about to associate yourself with are going to be the best people that you've ever met because God honors those who honor his word. Mm. And he wants us to go forward. Mm. We have to go forward. Keep on crawling. If you crawl, you can walk. When you get ready to walk, you can run. If you get to running, you can fly. Mm. Hey, and and one thing about it, if you, if you, you know, uh, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you'll be amongst the stars. Hey, my brother, Jelly, <laughs> man. Brother, yes, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much uh, for all you do, for just being a light in this world, hey, man. man. Like, you are, you know, your energy is real. You know what I'm saying? God is so, great. I appreciate you, man. God uh, is great. If somebody, I mean, you know, if they under a rock, they know where to find you. But yeah. if somebody wanted to connect with you, find you, you know, where can they find you? I mean, they know I'm on IG all the time. Yeah. I'm about to jump on there in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jazzy Faye, J-A-Z-Z-E. P H A. Now, when you text me and 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 they don't spell my name no other kind of way, people look right at my name and be like, Jazzy with a Y. No, I spelled it right. I didn't do it like so people could find me. I, that's how I spell my name. J A Z Z E P H A. All right. Sean. Keep the P in it, man. We pushing P. We pushing P. Keep the P in it. Uh, the Progress. living legend, Paper. Jazzy Faye in the building, inside the vault. Ooh. Yo, we get you, we get you some heat. Woo. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hot. You know what I'm saying? Hot fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure <laughs> we are we are closing out the vault. Another awesome episode. Yeah. Make sure uh, you you know check us out on our website insidethevaultshow.com. Follow us on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. 
me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am Ash Cash. Dot com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. I will see you next time. Same time, same place, in God's will. All right, y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You won't ask cash. You can catch it right here in the park.